This is News 24, I'm Erin Bates. We're sitting down with BT Hofmeyer, who's National Manager for the Education and Training Unit for Democracy and Development. And she's going to help us understand how our voting in the municipal elections affects who we see on councils and mayoral councils in the metros. BT, thank you for your time. Thank you for inviting me. So you do a lot of education with NGOs and with new MPs who need to understand how our democratic system works. Yes. And from a local government level up through the other two tiers. That's right. What are, what are the key sort of facets of local government that we as voters need to understand? I think the most important thing is what is local government responsible for? Uh, in the elections it got a little bit confused. Local government really is responsible for service delivery in terms of water, electricity, sewage, rubbish removal, general cleanliness of your area, the local municipal roads, parks, other facilities. Um, we tend to confuse health and education and employment and all kinds of other issues that are really national and provincial government responsibilities. So really, you can expect your councillors to go and fight for you to make sure that you get the services you're entitled to, that they are to the quality that you would like them to be or can afford to pay for, um, and to run an accountable, transparent, open council where the money is wisely spent. Money comes from you as the taxpayer, after all. Um, yeah. And tell me, in terms of that budget, when are we going to start seeing the debates or discussions and the final decisions on, say, the, the budget for a city or for a municipality? That's going to be a while, because <laughs> the municipal budget runs from July until June. Okay. Um, so the budget has just been passed for the next year. Sure. Okay, so even if, if, let's say, the DA takes over a previously ANC municipality, it's not easy for them to radically change the budget. And obviously that's a good thing because mm -hmm. you need some certainty between elections. You can't suddenly say, well, half the people are going to be fired, we're going to change the water tariffs and so on. So that really, there's a midterm budget review okay. where they can see whether they want to make adjustments. But it's a slow process. They have to come up with the integrated development plan. Where do they want to take the city or the town for the next five years? And then the budget has to make that possible. So I would say the big debates will be in March next year when they have to pass their draft budgets for the, the following the 2017-18 financial okay. year. So the kind of drastic changes that we might imagine are going to happen now that there are changes in mm. certain districts aren't going to happen overnight. Definitely not. Okay. The drastic changes you're seeing now will be that you will have new mayors, um, it remains to be seen whether a lot of the officials will change, like the municipal managers, the chief financial officers. My suspicion is that where those people have been effective, for instance, if they got clean audits and so on, um, there won't be whole scale changes. It's just a, a really silly thing to do, mm. um, to change a bureaucracy that may be working. Um, the big changes in terms of policy would probably be in the integrated development plan. You know. And what is that? That integrated development plan, the IDP, it comes up in the material that your training Yeah, it's, it's the master plan for the municipality. Okay. So every year you may have many projects, programs, you may be doing a housing upgrade or fix some roads or whatever, but the integrated development plan is like your super plan for where do you want this place to be, this municipality to be in five years' time. Okay. So for example, if we're planning to have a new township development, that means we have to talk to the education department, provincial education department, to set up a school, the health department to set up a clinic. We have to get from human settlements the budgets to build the houses. So you need your five-year plan to be in place so that you can also relate to other spheres of government and get the money, the technology, the support, the planning, everything in place. Otherwise, whatever you're planning at municipal level will, will remain a dream. <laughs>